Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a vanity makeover tour. I'm super excited to finally share my finished vanity with you guys. So if you want to see the makeover process and to see a tour of the new vanity, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to talk about how my vanity went from this to this. And I wanted to start first by talking about the inspiration for the finished product. And that came from this photo here that I found on the internet. And this, I guess, was Chelsea Handler's vanity from her dressing room when she was on E! And I didn't know that right away, but when I saw it, I just knew this was the vanity that I wanted. But go ahead and try to find a vanity like this. They do not exist because most people do not need this much storage. As you can see, my old vanity was just a cluster of stuff everywhere. It looked cluttered and it stressed me out. And honestly, I had no room for new products to come in. Now, I understand that most people don't have as much makeup as somebody who is a beauty blogger or a YouTuber, but for me, my beauty room was just being taken over by products, and I really could not find a vanity that had enough storage. Most vanities had like two or three drawers on either side, and that just wasn't going to cut it. I had toyed with the idea of custom building something, but the cost on that was really expensive, and I really did not want to do the Alex drawers because I feel like everyone has the Alex drawers, and I really wanted something more glamorous, more sophisticated than what those were. So I headed to IKEA in search of some sort of solution, and I stumbled upon these new mom drawers. Now, I had never seen these at Ikea before, and you can see all of the pieces. I'm sort of going to show you the process of putting together these, these drawers. They're very tall, there's a lot of pieces, and it was kind of a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie. But when I saw them, I thought, oh my gosh, I can put handles on them, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And the middle table that I had already had was from the mom family. So I thought this was kind of a perfect thing to make it cohesive and all look like it belonged together. So here I'm going to speed through the process of dismantling this version and assembling the other version just to kind of take you guys inside a behind the scenes look of how this all came to be and then I'm going to give you a tour. Just to give you a background on the lighting, I actually DIY'd these lights. I got the strip lights from Lowe's. The mirror I had and I painted, and I just wanted to create that Hollywood lighting, but the actual Hollywood lights are like $400, so this was a much cheaper alternative and I think cost about $50. So once these drawers were all in place, I ended up ordering these brass handles from Amazon. They were not that expensive. I think they were like two dollars each and I enlisted the help of Boy to help put these on um, and just drill holes right through the drawers. And you can see that I changed the color of the lighting and the mirror to match the handles and I just love how it came out. And I just think that the gold just really upped the glamour and I readjusted the pictures on the top to account for how tall the drawers were. So now I'm gonna take you on the tour. Okay, so let's start with the boxes on the bottom there. Those have, on the very bottom box, there's extra makeup, stuff that's new that I have maybe backups of, or stuff that I just don't use a lot, so I just kind of stored it in there. And the top one is all self-tanner products. Lotions, foams, mitts, all that stuff is in that box there. This black box that doesn't belong there is hair extensions. Um, over here is the plug that is really ugly, but it connects these two lights together. So here's the drawers, and these drawers, I want to say they were like 
uh, $1.99 each or something like that. And this top right here, it lifts up and there's a mirror underneath, but I don't use that. But they come from the mom collection, which was perfect because it's the same as the desk in the middle. They do stick out a little bit further, but I didn't have an issue with that at all. But I like the drawer sizes. It's very um, comparable to the Alex drawers, I felt like. And just to give you a little sneak peek, this is more of the makeup I wear every day. And then these are all categorized by items. So that's a little peek at my concealer drawer. On this side, I have my lashes that I wear the most right here. This little dish is of the Arc de Triomphe from Paris. I actually got it in Paris and I just loved it so much. And so I wanted it to be here on my vanity and it just, that just sits there for now all my brushes that desperately need a cleaning. I have three containers of brushes here and on the other side I have more brushes that I'll show you after. This is a pretty little body glitter spray that I got that I just think is really pretty on a vanity. And I've got my Diptyque candle that I've never used because I'm not crazy about the scent but I like the candle. So here is all lip products that I have here, and then I have all of my lip liners that are pinky nudes, I know shocking, that I wear every day, and a couple of little random products here, and more eyeliners and lip stuff, but again, this is not a makeup collection video. And then I've got some art there. I did a post on my blog about this artwork, so I will link that down below in case you guys want to check it out. And then moving on top of my vanity, I have a candle from Jewel Scent, which is the birthday cake scent, which I love. I've got a few um, fake peonies that are baby pink that I just feel like is pretty. And I don't know, I just like them. And then this is a perfume from Juicy Couture, but I mean, can you die over this bottle? It's just all glitter. And I just thought it was so pretty to be on display. It has a little champagne bottle right here. And I just thought it was like really cute to be on display on my vanity. Okay, over here is my mirror that I get close and personal with myself in. And this is just a box that's here temporarily and it just gives my mirror a lift because when I'm si sitting here, the mirror is too low and then I hunch and it's bad for my posture. But I'm actually looking to replace this with a mirrored version and I just keep makeup wipes in there. On this side, uh, my beauty blenders need to be washed so don't mind those, don't judge. This is a container, it's a ceramic uh, tumbler type of thing, and I got this in Phoenix, Arizona, and it was made by a Native American woman who makes ceramics, and I just loved it, and I just wanted to use it for something, and Q-tips seemed like a good idea. These are all just different tools, tweezers, eyelash curlers, scissors, <laughs> and I have a random brow brush in there, I don't really know why. And then I just keep all my beauty blenders in this little container from Ikea. And this, by the way, is a just a random little candle holder, like a votive holder. Over here, I have this little dish from, this is from J. Crew that I got a couple years ago. And this is my headband that I wear in my makeup tutorials. I got that on Amazon. These are more lip products. This container is Nate Berkus from Target and I just used it to stick other lip liners that I don't wear that much. Obviously they're not pinky nudes, they're all mostly color. And then here is some more, these are all liquid lipsticks. These are a mixture of gloss and lipsticks. And then I have more lipsticks up here. And then this here is a candle thing that I stick brushes I don't use that often. And I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then this is just another candle that I don't really use either. But it just creates some symmetry over there. So that is it for my vanity makeover tour. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more photos of my vanity, I will link my blog post below where you can find more about it. And make sure you follow me on social. I am on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is at Glam Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.